Greetings citizens of the world. The left-wing media has gone insane with the recent reports published by the New York Times regarding a 2016 meeting between Donald Trump Jr. and a Russian lawyer with ties to the Kremlin. Unfortunately for the left, the holes in this story are big enough to drive a boat through. The Russian lawyer in question, Natalia Veselnitskaya, was given an all-clear by the Justice Department before engaging in a lobbying campaign in the Washington, D.C. This means that the woman at the center of the Trump-Russia conspiracy was allowed to work in the U.S. without a visa thanks to the Obama administration. Again, as much as the Democrats try to paint the Trump team as in the back pocket of Moscow, evidence always seems to point back to Obama, Clinton, or other high-ranking Democrats. Alan Dershowitz, a professor emeritus at the Harvard Law School and a noted liberal has asserted that Donald Trump Jr. did not commit any crime if the only evidence is his email chain. Despite Tim Kaine's lunatic claim that Trump Jr. committed treason, getting dirt from a foreign national or a foreign government is not a crime. Veselnitskaya herself has admitted that she is not connected to the Russian government at all. Veselnitskaya also claims that she has never had or given dirt concerning Hillary Clinton. Trump Jr. himself echoes these claims by saying the whole meeting amounted to a wasted 20 minutes. Another shocking revelation made by the alternative media concerns Veselnitz K.I.'s supposed pro-Trump bias. In the email chain released by Trump Jr. himself, an intermediary tried to portray the Russian lawyer as someone representing the Russian government and its interest in electing Trump as president. However, it turns out that Veselnitskaya is a close associate of Glenn R. Simpson, the founder of Fusion GPS. Fusion GPS is the very same private intelligence agency that released the now-debunked Trump dossier claiming that Moscow's intelligence agents were blackmailing President Trump. Veselnitskaya is also an associate of Russian lobbyist Anatoly Samokornov, another figure linked to the Trump dossier and former MI6 agent Christopher Steele. This background makes one think that this whole meeting may have been a setup for the sake of a political smear. Finally, The Times admits that it published its reports without actually seeing the incriminating emails, they relied on three anonymous sources. One of the writers of the original article is none other than Maggie Haberman, a known Clinton loyalist and Democrat activist. Considering all of this information, American patriots cannot but help to see this latest scandal as just another media contrivance.